turns out to be uh, the third in our Ashbury poetry series. It had been intended as the fourth, but as many of you know, the um, March 2nd reading has been canceled because of the weather. Tonight we have Tom Rayworth, who comes to us from Cambridge, England, uh, comes to us via um, many other stops along the way. He's doing his grand tour at the moment in, in the United States, where he has been um, beloved and um, much read and uh, a source of delight and an inspiration for many of us, um, the young, the not so young, and the not so, not so young, all included. He has um, a long history of friendships um, with poets in this country who count him as one of our own, whatever that means, um, caring about the work that he does, the, the new work that comes out, um, and anticipating always um, that kind of occasion of excitement. I'm not going to delineate or, or list all of the, the many things that he does because we're continuing with a, a procedure in introductions that we've done the last couple of times, which we'll explain to you in a moment. But I do want to say that um, about two years ago, his collected work came out from Carcanet, a, a marvelous book that gives a, a sense of the range of his work, um, though just a sense of it. I mean, that it could never be contained in, in a single book. He um, is considered an innovative poet um, by people in England and here, and at the same time, he's working within intersections of many traditions that um, come from Euro-American poetries of, of several kinds. So he's, it's a very rich spectrum. He also is a, a visual artist who does uh, wonderful collages and of late there have been um, exhibitions around the world of his collage work, along with readings around the world, and um, collaborations with musicians. Um, I chief among them, Steve Lacey, no longer with us, but um, a, a jazz um, innovator himself who uh, did many kinds of um, collaborations with Tom. Now, what I'm going to do is turn to the facts, and just the facts. What we've been doing since the series began in the spring is asking everyone who reads to write a list of facts about themselves. The number of facts corresponds to the number of the day on which the person was born. So um, Tom was born on the 19th of July, and he gave me 19 facts, which I will now read to you. Born five days after me. Tom Rayworth broke his nose twice, met Jane Mansfield, was almost on the school boxing team. <laughs> Rereads Kim every now and then. <laughs> Sat next to Graham and Green on a flight between Nice and London and talked about whiskey. Cuddy Sark was his favorite. I'm not sure which his. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Graham and Green. Lived for a week on bread and hot sauce in New York City in 1971. Remembers Joe Brainerd. Is watching a maroon van marked safety and security.
maturity drive past for the second time. <laughs> Ray Ruth's mother was involved in the Easter Rising, Dublin, 1916. Ray Ruth's father tracked down the clock in the Holbein's portrait of Sir Thomas Moore. Ray Ruth's paternal grandfather drew an ink pot at a teacher who insisted he put a Y in his name, as it is pronounced, Rayworth. <laughs> he then ran away to sea and circumnavigated the globe twice under sail before returning home. He was 13. When setting type by hand in 1961, Rayworth preferred Robert Creeley to Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> Tom Rivers never forgets his dead daughter, Lisa, had no change of perception when he took acid, but sweated profusely, <laughs> <laughs> has been evicted three times, met Ron Paget by chance for the first time crossing a Paris street in the early 1960s, would rather be in Venice, saw Carmen Jones twice when it came out. Wonders where time went. Please welcome Tom um, Rayworth. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, Joan, for having me here. And in particular, thanks to Joan for sitting with me for five hours today in the emergency room, <laughs> above and beyond, I think. I'd like to bracket this with two pieces referring to the present war. The first is a, well, it's a, it's a poem that, a poem, it's a piece that I wrote at the beginning of the war when I found a website called Poets for the War. So I thought I'd try and insert something into this. And it got as far as the man who ran it offering to let me take over the site. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, Robert Creeley, who had a copy of this, sort of leaked it out, so that job was blown. Anyway. Listen up. Why should we listen to Hans Blix and all those other foreign pricks, the faggot French who swallow snails and kiss the cheeks of other males, the Germans with their Nazi past and leather pants and cars that last longer than ours, the ungrateful chinks we let make all our clothes, those stinks should back us in whatever task we shouldn't even have to ask. And as for creepy munchkin Putin, a slimy asshole, no disputing. We saved those Russians from the Reds, they owe support. Those wimpish heads of tiny states without the power to have a radio in the shower should fall in line behind George Bush and join with him and Blair to push the sword of truth through Saddam's guts. No need for any ifs or buts. We'll even do it without the backing of UN cowards and their quacking. Remember how we thrashed the nips and fried them like potato chips? God's on our side. He's white and Yankee. He'd drop the bombs. He'd drive a tank. We know he's stronger than their Allah, as is our righteousness and valour. We'll clip Mohammed's ears and pecker and then move on to Napalm Mecca. <laughs> so, one, one parameter of how I find myself in England, which is suppose, I suppose is where I was born and where I live, is, uh, well, this is a poem by Peter Porter. It's a poem that got a £10,000 prize when it came out. And normally that sort of thing doesn't irritate me, but this was the same week that Tom Pickard, an old friend of mine and a poet, was up in the fells in the cold, building dry stone walls to get by. So I felt compelled to write a three stanza envoy after the poem. <laughs> Last words, Peter Porter. In the beginning was the word, not just the word of God, but sounds where truth was clarified or blurred, then rhyme and rhythm did the rounds and justified their jumps and joins by gluing up our lips and loins. Once words had freshness on their breath, the poet who first saw that death has only one true rhyme was made the leader of the boys' brigade. 
Dead languages can scan and rhyme like birthday cards and lilac time. And you can carve words on a slab or tow them through the air by plane, tattoo them with a painful jab or hang them in a window pane. Unlike our bodies which decay, words first and last have come to stay. Tick, £10,000. <laughs> Envoy. I could go on like this all day, ti tum ti tum and doodly a, with every now and then a glance to see if I'm still on my pants. And if I had, if that stays jism or just a trace of modernism. <laughs> For isn't this what poetry is, a raincoat over similes you've seen before? Flash, look again, the same. No need to strain your brain. Simply recline on the chaise long and listen to the rhymes go bong. <laughs> And on like this, ad infinitum, with a metrical change or two to brighten the gloomy rhythm of these stanzas, metaphor of Belgium for my panzers, let those who think that piss is water suck deeply this insipid porter. (laughs) (laughs) So there's a period in the 80s when for some time I got stuck in Pieces of 14 lines, that's the only way I can describe them. They have no more claims or pretensions than being just 14 lines long. But this was a section called Survival. Between sounds of different but familiar idioms, bonfires of rubber tyres underline the arrival of a population allowed to attend cautiously. Worried spectators gather, projecting their image as well as dance techniques. Promoters help the distribution, critical for future significance of lyrics, responding to market forces. Sinking below the standard of archaic union to surrender his own identity in an indirect rendition of her history of being, mastered by competent speakers, carefully articulating spheres interested in self-preservation and the signs to which they are tied, Expression becomes sublimated beyond discursive thought, making it possible to promise a fluctuating relationship with nature from an unusual use of language. Down in the grasses, silent, leaning forward, each one of them accomplished through the narrative, accustomed words fall easily into dreams in order to arrange dust patterns with immutable antiquities, various doors filling the apertures of tradition so accurately it was easy to recognise the remedies she had used. Passing near the black hole in ordinary flat space, around a small loop of objects formed for symmetry reasons, Species of particles exist not yet pinned down as coincidences moving relative to one another on the edge of the quantum zone by gravitational amplification irrespective of the identity of metals in their spectra to collapse into a mathematical point. The only part that didn't float about whatever had happened could feel rain in the air. A fine handmade Panama hat near the altar rail in the soft glow of chandeliers an almost square grey bookshelf filled with history, all the movable property mangling one of his legs, that same damn ugly sofa swept up and carried away, cool water playing over the dead and dying. Almost as to a stranger, taking advantage of the numerous candles, in a room painted at the same time through the coarse sieve of a dying hour, not continuously being guarded, fed by an inexhaustible external unity. Fever had now taken possession of disturbed contours, lustrous in the shade behind mirrors their dying could not alter. Prisoners of age and society, when economics grew to a certain size, perhaps the words themselves brought depression and unemployment to express awareness of sustained narrative at the national level, trying to illuminate events, even a trace of her pale pink lipstick, a small round crust on a bumpy surface of hysteria, felt the current between us flowing in the same drawer. It was eerie, unwilling to believe in reverence terms, intention, the exacting decomposition of the body, recording all movements, transfixed by it, Signalling survival, joke desire had become a practice suit, working the same sensation, eyes closed, breath coming evenly, surfaced to the world of trying circumstances. Abruptly into an open space, ranged in orderly fashion, your mind, there's the truth, unsuited for irony. The recollection of neglect, fragrant with cinnamon, exploding within lucidly in the cool undercurrents of apprehension. Its brilliant openings caged in their scorn, an imaginary country complete in every detail in a perennial state of war. 
Out it makes a noise to the men and women who work on the police computer with a piece of piano wire, politely smiling in front of the camera, plain clothes, nothing conspicuous, an unusual weapon after a hot dinner bent to fit any body on the verge of cracking, strange things that make existence these lost parts of the city shrouding all of us. Night darkening around us, the track is not easy to find. A hazy line repeating its own features. She breathes again. The speaking images grow ghastly thin, begin to falter, sleep under pouring rain, running through revolutions, forges pour forth stars unknown, multiplying and still crowded, light in the heart of them, scratches in all directions. Functional metal components, shapes moulded in high relief to various degrees of geometrification, benefit from the new union, giving layers of glass, planes and shadows to soften and diffuse the images, making lighting a plastic element, a reaction against the excessive rhythmic ascent from restrained colour. A similar but less imaginative vocabulary, inscribed in block letters, shaded to provide depth by clever assembling of veneers. Similarly, with the hologram, action at a distance ceases. The environment seems preternaturally separate particles by its mere presence in the darkness, the ultimate test between reality and hallucination, interpreted as implying consciousness that the world, in all its normal solidity, lived through in time, survives death to specify its location. Behind a studio table, extremely limited portraits sustaining it inhabit acres of weed, waiting for something to happen, Sunshine rarely glimpsed, partly because of fashion eddying outward on its own side, in quotation marks, a movement almost balletic, despite the pitted holes ringed by men in uniform advising people to vote, lives on in the graveyard. Another loyal follower cared openly to express doubts all the way by a detachment primarily from the arrow's weight. Wind instruments signalled over more distant fiefs, evaded by using unusually large miners and mere cannon fodder to provide meat, Somewhat at a loss for the present, they simply had to survive, racked by numerous ailments and despair on this little island. He hated to get wet. Held together in mid-air, time was getting closer in normal awareness. Look at the flame, since the exact position selected its place in total darkness, being full of foibles, save for ultimate confrontation. The fire had to be as big and dangerous, overwhelming every change in the light, any surprising vistas. Lately she would walk asleep on his feet to the brink of inspiration with lacquered nails paused in mid-phrase, discounting, discrediting the epic sweep of stars, devising stratagems shrunk back in his head until the day was filled, creating an illusion, radiating orange lightning sucked into a vacuum past ponds down hills. Nothing better than to reclaim duck with its head dangling, knife, a blue pencil, only bad things that affect the opposite. Still she came, a tall black vase fluttering her arms, always displeased, moving every year around, protected by the wind, shook the plate in front, did not scream when he fell outside down the stairs, poured all her brains. The adaptations to differences in colour associated with food, regarded as the simplest forms stuck together in lumps, are irrelevant to survival. The struggle towards countless changes exhausted from hunger sounded like water beginning to burn or an extinguished star fading into darkness, smiling at the skull. Feelings belonged to the past. His stomach churned. The breeze blew through thick underbrush, following him around out onto the highway and grinned, flailing about, not to touch his cold flesh. You could smell it from deep in the earth, watching the smoke crawl from his straining lungs with its icy purity. Gazing without expression among cases of film, they stepped into the sun, removing remains by this new channel through the glassy surface of a collection of rubbish, but curiously trusting eyes swathed in canvas, exhausted in the debris, loomed from reflection reading itself to look at the rushes, beating slowly a tired rhythm. Despite some difficulties, traders stationed themselves, leaning there slowly to handle such ready consolations. Does the body become darkened, inherit more isolation than land? The lifelessness of someone reactivated by past procedures inside the lenses from a different face a ship's lamp shone against his black overcoat. She scrutinises their shape needed to revise one pattern on another, concerned with such a search that may call up his face. 
explicable as reproaches before they could be read in motion as lost or for threat in embryo form, too elusive for reconstruction with conventional tonality. There must be more identities to discover and express. Out into indeterminate space as quickly as possible, an undefined horizon slides away, flushed and silent towards the voice washing in behind, apparently motionless in the cavities. Some shattered syllables vibrate in the blue haze in a moment of alarm more intricate than a determined pattern. Away for another week, slipping his tail, cunningly left in the box near a curtained window, white-clad chemical figures suddenly totter vertical, sent for specialist examination to milk publicity. She turned and motioned over the fold, through the bugs building, pointing at the mirror to become two separate individuals, empty but brilliantly lit. Exactly this point, indicating a flow, scrubbed and pristine universe subjects to routine, transcribing reality into flights of imagination, all planes collapse laid out on a line among strangers, earth refracted across the mind in a sense unconscious, the persistence of desire making the visual field radically estranged. So meaning might be an inexhaustibility of reference rather than detailing, Flecks that float on the surface where gaze unfolds, the construction of a refuge reflecting light from an implied viewpoint towards the setting sun. Assumptions about history, ruins now, map legible space as mediating vision trains our eye on things. Isolated in contrast, briefest indications traced outlines cast on the wall for future decoration, acting in and upon nature, irradiated by the recollection of light shaping the earth in elegant lines, the almost audible eruption into dramatic patterns of an informed image with no place to stand. The Mosquito and the Moon It is hard enough, not merely a matter of belief. Noise is another problem, continuing yet to confine the great heap of spoils. Turn left through the shop, something wrong, miscalculated. Breaking cells completely, measuring is an aspect, surviving to produce, ending on a defined route, arranged in a ring, small localised holes of intellectual depth, heavily coloured by illusions, brought the car to the curb. Speaking across a threshold, charcoal marks indicate towards the front of the bed, tragic but still breathing. They carry the old letters running through decades. Find emotional experience filled with words, bearers of randomness, bumping and pushing, intimately familiar signs not revealing location, milling images hard to retain. These were soldiers and sailors, restless edges of vibration forced into twisted positions. Another moment somewhere mingled on the drawn curtain, grace caught unaware, awake with phantoms, made, used on the spot. The group shared in techniques later refined as they expanded eastward off to an early start. Plant materials were common, tightly bound on both sides, embedded in the landscape. An arc of stones, crudely made tools, eventually caught on. A gradient of sugar, persistently firing in the brain and bloodstream for oneself is not enough. The song once heard, inscribed in molecular processes, evoked to endure this through the dark side, up out of chaos. Slightly curved sound drops from axis to circumference, keyed on the echo. A burglar alarm system determines who a victim saw, doors, eyes shut before he turns, to sign in the body being treated like a patient, examined in a good light, his face destroyed by shock, bars go full tilt inside the ring, move communication options and emotions, a new atmosphere in matter already underfinanced, wind and rain just beginning to emerge. Some senses work on the power of the camera, measured by studying, modified to include isolation. To enter the dark compartment, reasonably clearly mapped, is to assume directive force. Each time we remember, habits and seasons change their properties. Sea wild animals killed then tested, 
concentrate, migrate over a series of struts between banks and islands, being the thin air, aware of existing devices, using solar energy in the design of complex objects not so ubiquitous as now when the air is colder. An array of detectors about low-speed situations learns the nature of life, Perhaps fluids, hardware systems that move people rapidly, die smashed into it, tightly coupled with growth. Unavoidable delay adopted the horse. In the humanities, expected ways fail between signal and space over heavily populated areas, a simple visual act, historically ephemeral, haunting without knowing the perceptual grasp of an adequate philosophy. Natural images which seem clear at the outset, accepted as a normal stage of organisation of the actions of spirit, often thrust doubtless towards an ideal of knowledge, continually threatening the notion of large scale, hold an emotion appropriate to grandeur, brought into contact with things brand new and never washed. Broken wings covered with burnt signs ring the top edge of whatever the dancer is doing. Local colour, an abrupt radiance to watch for in the city. Make your eyes jump past tattoos of fake brick, rusty armoured space, nothing more modern, glowing coils of virus, cracks in their glaze. A halo slipped, folded to her throat, against the impossible air where old things came from. Firewall. Views of music drift into the central arena across a projector beam, creating stunning tableaus. On the notion of chance, like them, reinforced between two highlights on honey and gold leaf. Though it might sound strained in the dimness, while film throws images of people short of being ideas of the world. Devised to fit bodies, leaking blood, aimed at figurines, radio noise fascinates with comic acts painted a brilliant blue at regular intervals, less a visual spectacle than a door set on edge to reveal a tumbling cast of prejudices. Concealed in artificial objects, changing the action plane into separate movements in space, down through grey sight, straight up, broken above, because you were lush. <coughs> Electronics completely black, drip, clearly down, lathered shoulders, wood shutters, separated iron, moves with his hands, lighting up a crack, a small wet click, that death happened, cages set on the table. Medieval monastery look. Forces production of a finger drawing a line without the abyss, behind every chair enough silk. Any sustained possibilities. Install refreshing space, experimentation with survival, completed by the thorn shoot, too long take floors out of proportion. Pull over, roll down tedium, corner of a sinister aching in her luxury, would carry conscious weight to the transmutation of dusk, disregard darkness away to bones and shadow, never perfect imaginary axes, warning demanded to perpetuate. High premium pleasure, sound running down the chain. Grey with stone dust, by spaced stalks, intercepted envy, buckles to an oak chair, molten wind streaked past, dented with rain. Quickly waned, the physical remained, a question moulded and inhaled, cheap painted plaster, distance had given up, though not so ardently there, from its ashes, though many gathered, but no engine came. Still a great deal forward. Moisture provided in part, unable to hide the verge, greenery had passed on coarse grass one winter night, Unifying colour from one area. Water with the syringe, stimulating discrepancy, photographed in the act, focused on a brief fantasy, influence prevails over power. Swept the girders of the L, the greatest ham stole differently, didn't hit the chateau, too long to settle in one piece, trailing rags in the gas, deep archaic shine hung on, steady supply appreciated. White rolling clouds, erased three tries to monitor. Little or no forced remarks about the tragic update, actions pinned to the wall, boxed in sentiments, money commissioned to paint and a big space. Some more meaningless powder holds the sugar content, wipes away shapes up a slope through shades, thudding porcelain, also might be true disaster he saw spread out to a lucent sky. Viewed in surprise, manipulated by boulders absurdly off, rushing right over camouflage vibration, hardens reflections, flows smoothly in, Beneath her gaze was the dilemma promised along another wire. Against his notice, flakes filtered out, a triangle was used. 
so fresh its source remained vibrant as once remembered, found some way down a horizontal rectangle, wood for touching, delicate kill with her feet, extended outside, exposed to feel, maybe latex bleeds. Pressing plant capable, signal barely reached. Dogs to train them, measured baritone, cracked the cord to find the key. Successions of cold went through the scanner under ragged fur. Crazy to be sure, tangled in air above hulks of freighters, mistakes float through the fan, shifting empty space. Precisely the same air tracks back until cooks through, draped with luminous cobwebs. An obligation skidding around was cool and calm, his bearing was gone, not to sound. Young sitting there. Intolerable jerks of emotion, didn't appear frozen, had taken a piece, led into the notion, conscious of illuminated words. Phrases, each containing hair colour, stated that he waited so comfortably off dry carpet, completely being serious canvases stripped back to bear guru, whose ideas, actions, either touch empires of armaments as aggregates clear. Wanders from our scene, abashed to find mud, his soul, the particular business of constant talking, the long dream dimly sentient. Within tyranny, beneath the surface of instinct, to divert, spread out in thought, be talk, talk, read, shaped to one winter day from such creative instability, involved risk disaster possibly. Flowing rivulets underlying. Must be called, making simple explanations, fiercely measure flattery when drooling. He has also heard the faintest pianissimo, wild clear of pines, burst into painted flames, spaciously reveal desire of every detail. Thinking may pull the bubble in, a wisp of lettuce, once part of spring, hide its grandeur, weak by relations stayed in the city. He had not left dependent in large part. Several caped figures, of course, the envelope. Completely clean, could see no closet, but two visible, amiable outlines on the wall cloth, unless she ran silent, contemplating. With blurry concern, its speed of reproduction, usually they get broken by noise and words found hiding near the path. Any conscious movement between arms sliding back to nibble the leaves? Would anyone sue for doctrine when he carved images of the eternal voice in the assembly from the many reported? Surprise in the air, yellow and red, seem to have great basic inequality. Nobody knows how to move. Space at some point changes position, holds her face, hides her face with the name he used, then disconnects at one end or both. Strange terminal types gravely self-destruct their long cells looping after another desperate encounter. To imagine an intimacy in suspension, nothing changed. The vessel ceased, red meat tasted done, simply ask inclination to help. Without scanning minerals, a vast country disappeared through the door to see distant starlight replaced by insecurity. I'd like to just read two more pieces one short and one that's uh, still not finished as far as my senses tell me systems disruption flags every utility silence filtered what would blossom to conclude form from skin accidentally imported during influence done parade reforming footage reduced normally sit round problems authority plays two tunes in season Filtered what imported plays from the skin would conclude sit parade, flags, tunes, influence done to two in round accidentally during footage, every sea blossom reduced normally, problems, authority silence, reforming form utility. The last piece has the title Caller, C-A-L-L-E-R, which, if pronounced Kala, as is the way in the dialect of Newcastle and the northeast of England, means fresh, as in Calla herring, fresh herring being brought through the street. Last century, pose half deep bass in which unknowing, komoto with sloppy surface, percussion apart, mentions regular welcoming, prepared to go, sucked, whereas maudlin oppression, Sears table trends report, about our movies out and beyond partying heard, Period confession on drums and signed word has it. Define clarity, chosen interplay, provide pull. Mushrooms wet with dew between two lions, empty shape. Creator of Spartacus, vectored with released paws. Chicken with rice, but here, get through aftermath of glass on what could risk suffocation, embarrassing death. One hand wriggled through, metal visited his nostrils. 
Lights were on, closed on, to speed at a distance, present. Favourite nightmares, transposed, moved recently, ballet. Brutality not yet completed, hot-wired control. Perpetual smoke, closed doors, never impede species. Monitored by authorities, half a mile shaking. Limousines full of heads, cheap disposability. Age of exponentials, Kurdish women carry brush. Mere human beings, faster than that nervous system, who look for guidance as reflection of ritual. Exactly, assumed lark song forgot blood suppression. Knowing it will pass shouldn't stop you helping it go. Interfere with nature, Mary, Olanza, Lia, Varda, Vega Vitalities, cloudy underworld. Some testing requires software called It Prevailed to Print. Suffer together down logic and intuition. Target parasite life fused to its surface with drugs. That an awestruck vegetable of the temperate zone wore off, bewildered, within moments he recognised. Devastated, repeating character prefers genes. Dazzling morning lies, sparkling thinking, dust, motes, dance wrong. Cancers dictate detection to search out every gene, repressed when awake, rely on their own conclusion. Tiny, through particular meaning, mysterious, strength can depopulate blades adapted quiet movement. Plastic half-light, increased production, oil and water. Victories opens deep operating light values. Partisan widespread belief speculate in sound waves. Anathema, mostly a string, glowed in the half-dark. Lesser branches captured, grow suspicious. Informal fashions in eating, based on shape. One, two, three, four, five. There's only one of you. Mere sight of kind nomadic. Hugh, there goes God. Set them shone, meaning few in their sweets. Fire of thought, why work for afraid rather than angry? Human decoration resisted in every way. Not the general good. Round deaths up or down to tidy. The best for each other. Next year, in Jerusalem. Don't mind us, go on with your war. We're for lost city. Odd mint sun, you towing harrow, rectify root slew. Understanding what intuition writes in language. All of the yellow stuff was coming out of the ground. A dawn against blurred colours on my closed eyelids, dance bent wisteria, the friendly shadows of the dead. Iris flames, taste of dry stove, born to detect nothing. Clay, brown stuff, you are doing something with and burn it. Sweet silhouettes, look forward, there will be a garden. Alleviate directed up on siren fashion offering antiphoton even to those composed. Observe flip tunnel noise, introduction not rising, dying itches, imploding light, space stationary. This train is dimensionally very delicate. No, to H. Pitt, now the soot even coats their rapture. The scourge of gay marriage upgrades this category. <laughs> Traces, dotted cotton strip, after capture with heads, officers gape, although emerging. <laughs> devoted sense, personal actions cannot fix nor prevent fruit cake. At bottom, disease dealt with strategic explosions. Light traffic aimed at brains brought hot foods to mouth with fork. Death seen in frame, spin in cave, bird in box in Brookline. Divest intended purchasing it in profession. Log on automatically, herself engraves troubles. All greens, a spark of human cost. Those went so strangely. Memory reshuffling, toned mortar, play in coiled dark. In shadow shadows, media cycle manicures. Cream flakes from leaden cows, hits where formal horizons. Toward prior to delivery, citations of Zerd. Borrowed complete shock, extend instructional assist. Sleepers open state of siege, rebels tended to frown. Menace without epiphanies, malice, placid reach. Have tenth reservoirs cut back, tax cuts not shared sharply. Condition paused above space of unknown provenance. Adequate strudels, separately dressed, affect marble, tripwire recalls, mist tinged orange from left wall to right. A marketed skillet, blitzed stocking, cat on diesel. Full print to work, perfume, preposterous name, nuisance, Velveeta cheese modelled, clings to guide as per quartet. Restrike the lot. Emphasis became effective fund. Dwindle animate slides talked into gouge designs. Bone, entrepreneurial tunnel, dash tricks, right, fitted. Head too funny, turned endless cordite, tattoo lightning. Ideological rules mandate, measure mistakes, clog robot, bladder waves, discharge a distilled spinach. Paramilitary wreckage arcs one musical. Fierce turn, crucial shift forgiveness. You jolt that table? Nature, corrupt nature, romped bound constituency. Non-electrical devil, is this thought calculus? All were buxom, mushroom and oyster, interested. Nose knots, future wardrobes pinned to scratch underneath. Provide physical support, sweeping public spaces. Samples ideally equal random chance, wildly cough. Water stained, sight of passion on the front of these books. Oozed pink layers, small slide for five, iodine poultice. Balancing as a hawk, drawn downward, failing judgment. 
Thoughts open gateway long enough to believe posture, extremes of those retreating indication objects. Space has background, light area in traditional, invented colour beaming from tunnel closed in film. <coughs> Ambient paddock, sheets blue glass, equilibrium. As two rival identities, backwards in red shirts, boast cast off celebration to map disabled lines. To understand thought be no explicable reason. Appropriate health eliminates from image change. Questions gathering, internal rough rhythms invoke, defence of culture narrator intervenes, headache. Game of blue shadow, you shall rise high in the city. Merely mammals, strung out of the willow, cross the way. Perru deserts, sonic hedgehog spectrum, mighty low. Holoprosencephaly, east lack, bruise become bold, abandoned property, a dangerous animal, even a regulated public utility, ant smuggling, insufficient windows, a crusty boat. Hitler, come on, I'll buy you a glass of lemonade. In concrete block pens of an idle hog growing barn, fid death in Ib Nicaragua, I was ready for a new Spoon River anthology of real dead pickups in sepia desert air, up with the sun, fine structure, constant stone spectre, he is a deep pig. Burnt lily, tracking workers, lawyers describe organs. In the luxury of our poverty is the choice to switch from choral evensong to Andy Kershaw. One point perspective path to what is not remembered. Lightning, trammel, Camion and Kratos, stop and search. Egalitarian, segmental, acephalous. Monotony of renewal with no sense of smell. Their woes otherwise impact he emphatic, immune, recorded underwater suspect deformed from sphere, grilled details flashing, fatally pursued across glass. When part be assembled, possible camera completes. And I'd just like to finish with one thing. A long time ago I used to play with this musical box mechanism, which I lost, but then... When I was in San Francisco, a friend lent me his, so I decided to try again. So basically it's just a scale mechanism, and you're supposed to punch politely on the cross pieces for the tonic so far. So I wanted to see what would happen if I wrote and punched along the lines. So this is War on Terror. Find a way to wedge this so it will play.